Hi everyone, I am Dr. Malaika K. Fowler. I am passionate about inspiring change through interconnectedness and taking compassionate actions towards our fellow human beings. I first of all want to thank everyone who took the time off their busy day to watch my video um, and left me your comments. Uh, I truly appreciate uh, all of your interest and I look forward to uh, um, connecting with you through your comments and I want to ask that if you have the time to could you kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course I have a, a Facebook page with Dr. Malika K. Fowler so I just thought I'd throw that in for those of you who don't know um, I appreciate um, all of your likes and all of your responses to me and feedbacks today I like to do a, a recap with what I did last week before I go about um, defining um, interconnectedness. Uh, I have a board back here and uh, just um, I can't have my camera come all the way back here but I'll, I'll make sure after the I'm done I can bring the camera real close. I'm doing this by myself. So um, a quick recap from, from my last video. I spoke about interconnectedness as an introductory piece. I'm um, passionate about inspiring change uh, through interconnectedness and taking compassionate actions towards our fellow human beings. Uh, I spoke about my primary purpose as being um, to improve, um, help us improve our personal empowerment, self-reliance, self-development, and spiritual growth. Um, I do believe that we all share a desire to grow and improve our well-being as human beings. I also do believe that um, when we do so, it helps us increase our awareness. It helps us seek to better understand um, other people and our environments. In that respect, our existence is improved. Um, ladies and gentlemen, in doing so, it helps you and I facilitate and um, promote um, positive change to society for the greater good. At the same time, looking at uh, interconnectedness, I made a centerpiece here and said that here we are. We are internally connected with everything and everyone in the world. Our internal environment and external environment puts us in that uh, phase of being connected with everything and everyone in the world. As I spoke about my purpose, my primary purpose, which pointed out to help us uh, improve our personal empowerment, self-reliance, self-development, spiritual growth. The core of that spiritual growth lies in compassion. I like to use um, I like to use the golden rule from the um, um, supported by um, by a notebook from the golden rule. Excuse me, and that says, "Do unto others as you would have them do unto you." How else can you ask, and how else can you go wrong doing things to people that you feel is justifiable to yourself? In doing so. What do we do as human beings? Um, we serve our fellow human beings and expect nothing in return but simple kindness. So today I'd like to uh, define um, my purpose of interconnectedness um, to, to, to the world and to those of you who basically are interested in knowing my purpose of uh, definition for interconnectedness. Um, let's get started. So, thinking about interconnectedness, how does one define interconnectedness? Um, it is a word uh, with meaning beyond the interpretation of any uh, one person or many people. Uh, the facets, the many facets of, uh, of its explanations and definitions appear to be understood by so many 
a true a lens of seeing, seeing yourself as you see others. Um, that sentiment uh, is supported by um, that sentiment is supported from the um, notebook of the Golden Rule, and it is well recognized in and around um, the world um, through ways and interactions of um, worship, religion, regardless of uh, specific beliefs. So let's let me break down interconnectedness. How then is interconnectedness defined? Um, interconnectedness, uh, for my purposes, is defined as being intertwined with everything and everyone on a multitude of dimensions uh, running the gambit from technological, technological, uh, personal, uh, interpersonal, excuse me, uh, organizational. These things all allows us to be. We are all members of one united global family sharing far more in common as opposed to those things that make us different from one another. Even though we are geographically separate, we all reside within the same zip code of this planet Earth. Inasmuch as we speak different languages, we all communicate. We each occupy a body of an exact shape and size different from anyone else. Yet, we are all living and breathing human beings. We each love someone different and differently. But we all love. There are so many cultural nuances amongst us. But we all have a culture. We have many societal differences. Yet we each are members of, of a society. There are literally millions of differences in what and how um, we consume, but we all eat and drink. All of us have many generations behind us and intertwine one way or another. Interconnectedness means that we all, or we are all so fundamentally tied to each other and in every way, shape, and form. We each have thoughts and different beliefs, uh, different from others, but we all think and believe. Uh, inside the span of time, between birth and death, we each conduct our existences differently, but we, but we each conduct our existence league differently, um, but we, we are all born and we will die. We believe or not in different higher powers, but we all believe or not. We see things through various uh, uh, lenses, but we all see we experience so many different emotional sensations, yet we all feel. After factoring um, in these um, previous nuances, um, previous stated nuances, um, or my definition, a purpose definition for interconnectedness, we are all basically um, the same human creatures. Um, no matter from where we come, that sameness 
provides us the fundamental underpinning for interconnectedness. This phenomena, uh, I refer to as a phenomena, runs as an undercurrent of energy across the entirety of humanity in its most basic core of fuels our collective desire uh, to, to exist. Beyond that fundamental um, functionality, interconnectedness serves as a common platform on which we all believe, think, and feel. Just to cite an example, when Nelson Mandela, President Nelson Mandela, and Mother Teresa pass away, did not the entire planet grieve? Yes. The same, the same energy crossed through all of our beings to cause sadness. We all felt sad globally because that sadness um, was on a global level. We asked the question, but then why would something similarly unrelated to people halfway across the planet cause such an emotional reaction? I like to say an answer to that is because of interconnectedness. Interconnectedness would be the answer to that. Across humanity, interconnectedness is widespread and is far-reaching. Interconnectedness isn't something um, which can be gauged or objectively measured because of the nature of ever-expanding uh, globalization and its impact on collective human elements. And for that very reason, it is most important to gain a better grasp or understanding of this phenomenon of interconnectedness because we are intertwined with everything and everyone on a multitude of dimensions. Ladies and gentlemen, I truly hope that I broke down my purpose of interconnectedness um, through my short explanation. I want to take the time again to thank you for um, taking time off your busy day again to watch my video. I ask that you uh, leave me your feedback, your ideas, your, de your definition of interconnectedness, and if you have any further request, a topic that you think I can talk about that's relating to interconnectedness, I'd be truly happy to do so. I look forward to connecting with you again uh, through my next video. I Again, I want to say thank you. I'm truly grateful. And I want to wish you a blessed day. And goodbye. Thank you.